Hello and welcome to another episode of Gaming Weekly! Oh, hey. yeah, you can clap for that, why not? Who cares? It's Red Dead Redemption 2 launch week yep. in case, oh, I don't know, every other YouTube video uploaded <laughs> today wasn't an indication. At least we use a different thumbnail, kinda. Anyway, so YouTube sure likes all their new video games. Hey, you know what else YouTube likes? What's that? Top 10 list! <laughs> Uh, also thrown to that mix, uh, cooking videos, yeah. unboxing, unboxing toys, uh, no more cursing, frozen. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me and the life I chose. Anyway, that's right, partner. No! Lana and I have a combined 60 hours in the game wow. along the way. We saw some crazy shit, so of course we made a list. Yeah, yeah. So here are our top ten. Nine-ish, hardcore, insane, batshit, crazy, Red Dead Two facts that you will not believe. You couldn't come up with uh, ten. You had to do nine. Huh? I heard a stat that uneven numbers perform better. <laughs> <laughs> also, yes. I like that. I like that a lot. I might have a tenth. We'll dis we'll vote at the end. Okay. Whoa, well, Adam, of Adam, you don't need to clickbait them right now. They're already here. They're watching the video. But we're on YouTube, Bruce. <laughs> You won't believe number nine. Who knew you could <laughs> rob a train with Abraham Lincoln? And he's gay! What? Abraham Lincoln's in the video? That, no, that's super a joke. Oh, okay. But in case anyone uh, is about to get mad and come out about spoilers, we have to give you a disclosure. We won't talk about any story details in this list, but we are talking about stuff that you probably don't know about Red Dead Redemption 2, so if you're worried about learning anything about the game, mm -hmm. maybe just bow out. No! Keep you, watching. Yeah, just keep watching. Yeah. But then also don't watch. Just don't comment about how much you hate us because something was spoiled. <laughs> anyway, a lot of takeaways. Start with number one. So if you're camping, even in the wilderness, this is a really fun one, and you're clearly on someone else's property, like uh, near a house or inside of a fence, hmm. sometimes at nighttime they might come up to you and kind of fuck with you. Ooh, so there are what? certain like people in different regions of the map, and uh, like some of them seem to be like cultists and. Basically, they will kind of screw with you a little bit uh, if you're on their property. Let's get more clicky. Number two, <laughs> if Arthur gets drunk, well, nice. Yeah, the text on the screen will sometimes actually change. So, like, uh, so it's like someone drunk text. So, like when he's talking, the closed captions will turn a little drunk. There's a really good drunk part very early in the game. You'll see what I'm talking about. Even the interactions, like the menu, the writing all changes. It's really rad. Cool. It's a there's a lot of attention to detail in the game, and that's like it's just a small snippet. Uh, Alana, just so you know. You should have gone nine to one, not one to nine, because now no one's gonna click this video. We can fix it. Oh, we've ruined the whole video. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven, take it away, Bruce. <laughs> if you haven't slept in a while, Arthur will obviously be more tired in everything he does and is likely to sigh more often. Uh, he'll look more tired, yawn hard when he wakes up in the morning and just naturally kind of slump around. Yeah. That's you know, really interesting. He kind of looks like a sad man. Uh, number, this is number six. Number oh, six. Yeah. This is going to get bad. I know. Right. I know. I, I in like certain it. stealth missions, assuming you don't have your gun out, you can interact with a guard who catches you and talk your way out of it. So if you're trying to infiltrate an area that's red on the map and someone sees you, you can be like, oh, I'm just a tourist. Oh, I was just super lost. And then you just kind of walk away from him and then re-infiltrate, which I thought was really cool. Guess how many times that's worked for me? Oh, it's really? worked for me like three times. Never works there for you me. Go. They like Alana, they don't no. like you. What number are we up to now? Uh, I think this is I think this is actually five. Well, five will be five no matter what if we're the guy. Right, exactly. Yeah, but it's a be. list of nine. It's a number. It's four, I think. Number four or five, <laughs> if you press A in time with the rhythm of your horses galloping, its animal will actually drain slower. So you don't just have to mash A. Oh, so you, just, you hit it while he while the it like the You try to go to the rhythm of the hoof. hooves hit the ground. This is number three? Four. No spoilers, but there are Easter eggs for the original Red Dead Redemption all over the map. Just make sure you stop and look if you see something out of place. Give me an example. Yeah, I'm curious. Yeah, what are you talking mean? about? I don't like, we'll, we'll bleep want it all. to give you an example. One of the characters in the background of the, I think the second town you get to, has a cowboy hat on, and cowboy hats were in the first game too. That's that, a good one. Right. That is an Easter that's, egg. That's yeah. pretty neat. Um, uh, <laughs> the next number that we're not sure what we're up to. Two. <laughs> if Arthur or his horse are covered in blood and you go for a swim, it'll come off of you and you'll actually see the blood trailing in the water behind you. Like you'll see it come off. The it's really cool. Once again, attention to detail. The game is gorgeous. It's really, really cool. You yeah. want to take number uh, half one? Uh, is it one? I don't know. One it's and two. a half. One point five. Two. And our final is, potentially. Is this our final? No, no. no number two. This. Sorry. Yeah. So number two, on top of getting your own little uh, photo box, okay. basically, it's not a. It's like an old style camera. There's actually an old school style photo studio that you can find one of the bigger towns you go to later. Uh, there, you can change the backdrops. You can change your expression. You can even change your little pose. You take one of those old tiny little keepsake photos. <laughs> That's and you're like, really nice. You're kind of like, hey, and then, and then he's kind of goes to his face. Uh, and this is number one. One, okay. All right. Potentially. Uh, if you're at the camp and someone comes up to you wanting your health, or just to talk, you have the option to say not now. Uh, characters who have quest markers on them will still also talk to you organically without you having to begin their quest. 
meaning characters aren't suddenly locked out of society whenever they have a quest for you. Is your mind thoroughly blown it's, yet? It just sounds like they've done a lot of really cool stuff with NPCs that a lot of games don't. Yeah, so. I just wanted to list a bunch of little stuff, which is what that all is, but it's stuff that really adds up and gives you this full experience. It yeah. It feels so polished. You want the last one? I'll blow your fucking mind. This is the one? This is the one bonus that people one. Will, will remember us for? Bonus this one. This is a bonus. Bonus. Super best thing ever. Uh -huh. When you run at doors, Arthur will slam the door open. Later in the game, there are towns with glass windows, and you'll break the window, and there's zero consequence for breaking the windows. <laughs> I'm gonna break all those windows. It is kind of funny, you find a barbershop, and you run in there, you break the glass, and they're like, hi there. <laughs> <laughs> what can we do for you? Did you guys know that all these details that are in Red Dead were also in Sega Genesis Ristar? I was hoping you were gonna reference the game Gun for PS2, I think, I think or... I liked Gun. I Gun was Star great. What about Cowboys of Moo Mesa? Can, can Arthur go stretch his arms out okay. and yeah. grab things? No, not that's too far. Because okay. Ristar can. <laughs> we also have a review going up for Ristar. No, that's not true. Uh, we have a review going up <laughs> for out of 10. Red Dead Redemption 2. It's actually up on YouTube right now. Uh, Lana, you are currently editing the video. Can you give us any of uh, any 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 preview, any any excitement, exciting part of the uh, of the of the review of the review? Yeah, like Jeff. Yeah, Bruce, I, I edited a highlight clip of the review that'll be up tomorrow. So oh, okay, cool. Um, we play that. Sometimes Arthur kind of comes off as a cartoonish. He's a bit of a dick. <laughs> He's kind of a dumbass. It's an interesting thing, too, because it is Red Dead Redemption 2, but you're getting the backstory of all these characters. Mm. Arthur is not a character that shows up in Red Dead Redemption 1, so I don't... I'm actually... I'm playing through because I'm like, I want to kind of know what his story is. But it is it is a game, too, that, like, as I'm playing it now, I'm still guessing. Hey, how many horse balls would you rate the ability to finally change our PSN? It's funny you bring that up, Bruce, since I've been stuck with horse nuts for your butt for about a decade now. It's a pretty good gamer tag. Mm. Uh, you'll soon bid those nuts goodbye since the name-changing feature is officially entering PlayStation's preview program with the 6.10 preview. Oh, wow. They did it. The Reset Era poster. Azure Dune. What? As Dune. As Dune. <laughs> Whatever, it doesn't matter. A Reset Era poster, As Dune, posted the full details of the PSN ID change program last Tuesday, and it's got more catches in the World Series. Go Dodgers! Wow, that was a good baseball reference. Nice job. I, uh, I'm supporting my wife who's watching it. <laughs> Changing names is only guaranteed to be fully compatible with PS4 games originally published after April 1st, 2018, which really narrows down that window. It yeah, really does. Tell us some more about them terms, Lawrence, in the Game Zone. Brought to you by... Nobody. Nope, not sponsored. Not sponsored. Yeah, not yet. We'll have Pringles flying through here soon. Um, <laughs> the terms actually have some scary stuff, provided you take it at face value. Uh, like suggesting the DLC you bought may or may not even work anymore. Oh, nice. nice. Or any game that runs online. Oh, uh, specifically, quote, you may lose access to content, including paid for content, that you've acquired for your games, including content like add-ons and virtual currency. That's if you change your name. Yeah. <laughs> that thing Steam lets you do whenever you want. At will, yeah. so people do it every other week and you have no idea who's on your friends list anymore? For Loco Haram? Who is that? <laughs> yeah. But did he, did, did he lose anything he bought? No. Just, okay. just the con, utter confusion when he drops hot memes in my, my Steam chat. Anyway, well, apparently it gets worse. The notes also warn that you, quote, may lose your progress within games, oh. including game save data, leaderboard data, and progress towards trophies. Holy shit, man. I think we can file all of this under yikes, because that kind of sucks. I, yeah, you know what? This whole online thing is new, and we're just figuring it out. Lawrence, what the hell is the deal? Why, why would changing a name wreck everything? <laughs> That's a good question. Um, so just for starters, believe it or not, it doesn't seem that bad. Okay. Uh, which sounds terrible to yeah. say, but so the notes are objectively listing all possibilities. Sure, sure. So it's kind of like that terrifying disclosure you get at the end of any kind of medication ad. Dizziness or fainting may occur upon standing. Side effects include nausea, dry mouth, and constipation. They also allow you to revert back to your old name for free. So if you change your name and everything's broken, you can go right back to horse nuts for your butt. Oh, it'll work. And, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. and, and they'll allow you to do that for free. They say that you have a window but they didn't say how long that window was. Um, in that same thread, I basically read through it, there is some less than catastrophic results, really. Seventh Parallel says they haven't lost any PS4 purchases dating back to launch. Our Araya? Uh, Araya Soren, yeah, thank you. Claims they have all games and DLC, but lost leaderboard ranks on The Last of Us. No, how will they yeah. know? <laughs> But interestingly, Dr. Thomas was able to relink their uh, Rockstar Social Club account, and they kept all their GTA Online money in ranks and stuff like that. Okay. In the whole thread, nobody actually reported any negative effects at all. Okay. Uh, nobody really went back too far, though. Nobody tried PS3 stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, so, who knows? Maybe there's no problem then? Like, why would why, why even spook everybody in the first place? Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's a tough one. So, 
the interesting question is why this why is this even happening? Uh, so we spoke with a developer who has worked closely with PlayStation in the past and requested anonymity. Uh, that provided some insight into why all this might happen. Uh, so long story short, it sounds like some games used your actual PSN ID, like the name, uh, and linked that to all of your storage and online identifier stuff, which is, that's really weird. Uh, normally storage is based off something called a GUID, or a globally unique identifier. GUI ID. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so it's, it's something that's generated by a specific CPU at a specific point in time, so it has to be unique. Um, and everything else is linked to that. So you change your name, but your hidden identifier stays the same. Hmm. Um, it sounds like early PlayStation Network didn't do that. Hmm. They just used your name to identify you, so when that changes, everything else breaks. It's really weird that uh, PlayStation Network didn't have a standard in that, in that regard, or it sounds like uh, they've enforced one on April 1st, 2018, which is after which they can guarantee everything's gonna work. So, quick question, were the Matrix characters allowed to change their names, or like when you're Trinity or Neo, you're Trinity and Neo? As opposed to hackers' rules, where valid. crash override used to be question. zero cool. That's a valid question. No, in in the Matrix, those are their names. Like I think that's a, Neo was Neo in the real world. Mr. Right. Anderson the, was like his slave name. Exactly. But his actual yeah, name yeah, was no, Neo. exactly. I know that. But like when he's like, "Whoa, I'm jacked out," and then he goes, "I want to be like cock liquor," and they're like, "No, you no, can't you be can that. You're that. Neo." Yeah, you and can do like, that. He's like, "Here's ten dollars," and they're like, "No." <laughs> You might lose some of your, your save progress. You could do that in the Matrix. Okay. Aside from that, it's really funky that I guess PlayStation clearly didn't design their online infrastructure thinking players would ever change their names ever. Yeah. My name is Bruce Dragon Snipe. <laughs> it literally is. Yeah. And I want to change it immediately. Uh, given how messy that can be after the fact, I'd say they're covering their bases as well as they can with stuff like the free name rollback. Yeah, hey, speaking of being trapped in the past, is Call of Duty finally dead? No. Ooh, ah, come on, man. Black Ops 4 is actually Bl pretty yeah, good. Blops is really it's fun. fun. It's Black really Ops, fun. It's fun and it's, it's it's doing well, I guess. I, I, I mean, know. Adam had to read it. it I don't know. Yeah, you wrote the damn script. You made me say those words. <laughs> yes, dance for me. It's still Call of Duty. You're the bad guy now. Uh, so yeah, this is more of a tease for a report that we have coming up next week. Uh, Investors Business Daily reported that Black Ops 4 sales were flat against last year. Not so. That's not so. I mean, that's to be fine. honest with you, that's not so bad. The problem is that in in business terms. Flat is bad. Like, if you're not growing, you're dying. So Listen up, ladies. Yeah, thank you. Flat is bad. <laughs> what did we do? Oh, flat is bad. I got it. Got it. Uh, James got a ch chuckle out of that. I got it. <laughs> Reached out to uh, Activision, put out some numbers. We got the boys in the newsroom crunching some numbers for you guys. That's you. You're the boys. Yeah. Well, I mean, but there's a whole s staff. No, that's just you and Alana. Yeah. yeah. It's like on Attack of the Show when they're like, we went to our tech lab and it was Bruce's desk. It was desk. me. Yeah, yeah. It was just me. <laughs> <laughs> Look forward to all those fucking tactical spreadsheets and double kick drum quarterly earnings reports. What about like Frozen DLC? Wait, wait, Call of Duty Cross Frozen? I love it. Get your Olaf skins now. Uh, speaking of, we gotta get back to the streets. Gaming news isn't gonna journalize itself. What does that mean? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. That is a, just a really weird way of saying, draw the blackout curtains and play Red Dead 2 all weekend. Yeah, damn straight. Have a good weekend, yeah. everyone. We'll be right here next week, provided Rooster Teeth is cool with us not coming into work for seven days straight. So we're gonna be playing Red Dead. Still waiting on, well, yeah, waiting on that Pringles ad. Yeah. So I, I am like fully sold on the story and will say with a fair amount of confidence that I think it is one of the best video game stories ever written in, I haven't finished it obviously, so mm -hmm. I can't, but like, I am very attached to all of them. I care about all of them. I wanna know what's happening to all of them. I feel like Dutch is almost more the protagonist than Arthur. You're just kind of helping him. Yeah. But it's like, I, I'm very invested in this world. 